Serach, Ecclesiasticus 27. Many have sinned for a small matter, and he that seeks for abundance will turn his eyes away. As a nail sticks fast between the joinings of the stones, so does sin stick close between buying and selling. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of Yahuwah, his house shall soon be overthrown. As when one sifts with a sieve, the refuse remains, so the filth of a man in his talk. The furnace proves the potter's vessels, so the trial of man is in his reasoning. The fruit declares if the tree has been dressed, so is the utterance of a conceit in the heart of man. Praise no man before you hear him speak, for this is the trial of men. If you follow righteousness, you shall obtain her, and put her on as a glorious long robe. The birds will resort unto their like, so will truth return unto them that practice in her. As the lion lies in wait for the prey, so sin for them that work iniquity. The discourse of a righteous man is always with wisdom, but a fool changes as the moon. If you be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but be continually among men of understanding. The discourse of fools is irksome, and their sport is the wantonness of sin. The talk of him that swears much makes the hair stand upright, and their brawls make one stop his ears. The strife of the proud is bloodshedding, and their revilings are grievous to the ear. Whoso discovers secrets loses his credit, and he shall never find friend to his mind. Love your friend and be faithful unto him, but if you betray his secrets, follow no more after him. For as a man has destroyed his enemy, so have, have you lost the one. Rather, so have you lost the love of your neighbor. As one that lets a bird go out of his hand, so have you let your neighbor go, and shall not get him again. Follow after him no more, for he is too far off. He is as a row escaped out of the snare. As for a wound, it may be bound up, and after reviling there may be reconciliate, rather, reconcilement. Rather, reconcilement. But he that betrays secrets is without hope. He that winks with the eyes works evil, and he that knows him will depart from him. When you are present, he will speak sweetly and will admire your words, but at the last he will writhe his mouth, mouth and slander your sayings. I have hated many things, but nothing like him, for Yahuwah will hate him. Whoso casts a stone on high, casts it on his own head, and a deceitful stroke shall make wounds. Whoso digs a pit shall fall therein, and he that sets a trap shall be taken therein. He that works mischief, it shall fall upon him, and he shall not know whence it comes. Mockery and reproach are from the proud, but vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them. They that rejoice at the fall of the righteous shall be taken in the snare, and anguish shall consume them before they die. Malice and wrath, even these are abominations, and the sinful man shall have them both.